Creo Parametric 4.0, Lesson 11, Part 2. We will continue on with our drawing. And one of the things I didn't do in the very beginning, which I should have, is set my drawing properties. So, File, and what you're basically doing is preparing your drawing, which I should have done before I completed anything. We're going to go into our options here. And I've got all of these in a separate file because obviously I've done them when I was writing the book, uh, actually over and over and over again. Um, some of the things we can take a look at are either alphabetically or as set or by category. If we leave it for alphabetical for right now, for instance, arrow style, we want this one to be filled and come down and select it. So we would build this config file for drawing properties one step at a time. You're going to be doing the text height. You're going to do the default font, etc. Now, one thing I did notice when I was going through this is that between their pre-production release and the release of the software um, on a final in the final basis, sometimes they make some changes. And I thought this was kind of interesting and actually it kind of ticks me off. They changed default font, which has been default font for 20 years, into default annotation for some reason. And this one is also going to be filled. But I'm not going to do any of that. I'm going to open up my existing one, which I created, call it drawing options or detail options, whichever you want you wanted. I'm going to click open and apply. Now, if you zoom in now, you'll see that the arrowheads are thick, the font is thick, all the things that I've talked about before. Now it says as set here, and the text height has been changed. The thickness factor is say the same. Um, let's see. Let's go back to alphabetical. One of the things that should have been turned on is the allow 3D allow 3D dimensions. Yes. So all of these have been set. The two pages in the book, and again, it'd be better to do it before you start. One is on page 485, and the other one is on page 502. far. And here's the other ones in here. Arrow width, etc. Now these are these are changes in the construction or I should say the uh, cutting plane. So if we go by category, you'll see we have active drawing, these control annotations. So each one of these categories can be looked at. Here you control dimensions. font and here I found default font whereas the other one said default or uh, something font and that one controls I guess how it's set in the beginning in other words your system manager could set it up also so if we go down here arrow style filled so all of these have been created separately or set separately before the drawing was done now I'm going to go down a little bit for tables layers now, normally, your system manager will set these up for your organization. Columns. Here's my geometric tolerancy. And at this point, you can go and make sure ASME is selected. It comes in as ANSI as a standard. And I guess that's about it. But take a good look at them. There's an awful lot of them there. Every model or drawing or format will have its own set of options that control it. The format has drawing options, but the list is much shorter than this. So again, take a look at your text height and everything else. Make sure it's set properly. Um, if, you, if you change any of these, make sure you've saved it.
close. All right. Now, we go over here and we'll see the drawing looks considerably different. Now, if I wanted to make changes right in the drawing here, if I window everything in, right mouse button, and you'll see the choices that we have. You can move, you can do a lot of different things, flip arrows, etc. But if I wanted to go down here and I wanted to pick annotation as my filter in the lower right hand corner, now when I window everything in, I should just get the text. So text style, and you can see the height is not listed here because you have a couple different heights. So if you wanted this one to be, oh, I'm sorry, it's all 0 0.25. We can go change some of that also. Change your color. Lots of things you can do here. We'll leave it alone except for the font. And here I want to go down to Blueprint Bold. And again, this wouldn't necessarily be what you want on most drawings. This almost looks architectural in nature. Apply. Okay. So I've changed all of them at the same time. Kind of a little bit more of a drafting style. Now again, you should look at everything and see what you want here. Here, for instance, is your note and you can double click on it. You can add, subtract, you can change if you want to at that point. Um, I'm going to click over here and I'm going to change this to three places. And you can go through the whole drawing and do that or you can change it globally. It looks like all of them have been changed to pretty much all in the four, four places. So if you want to change them, you can change the number of places to three, or you can individually go through and pick on each one of them to make sure they're correct. For instance, this one went to three, and actually I would like this one at four, and this one too, like so. And if it changes its position or how it intersects the extension lines, make sure you've altered that. All right. Now, we have a note here, and we have one here and here. So we have three separate notes or call-outs. And what I'd like to do is I'm going to click on one of them here and double-click, and you can see it's the information provided up there. The right mouse button will give you also a series of choices. Properties. And here is text style. So for instance here, you can see it's set to 0 0.25. If we want this one to be 0 0.35, for the detail, we can do that. Now we could do the same thing here and you can see here we can now that it's freed up we can do 0.35. So depending on how you're selecting it be a little bit careful. Properties or here's the choices. Many of these are grayed out. And I click down here. So however, however you're selecting your items, you're going to get a series of different choices. All right. And again, In this case here, I had to take off the default. So depending on how they're selected, you'll get different options. Now the other thing is your datum tags. We got annotate on, we got annotation selected here. If I go to, let's try datum planes and see what happens.
cust no, I hit customize. No. So it's not datum plain and datum tags. Let's try general and still not getting it. So let's see if I can select it. Properties. No. Nope. All right. I wanted to change about here. Let's change this one. Textile and uncheck here. Let's make this a little bit bigger also. So we have our cutting plane. And adjust it. All right. So you can go through the drawing, make changes. And one thing that I noticed that we're still missing is the geometric tolerancy. So I'm going to click on that. And I'm going to select this surface right here. middle mouse button and left mouse button. So I'm going to select it again and I'm going to move it to the front view. And the characteristic here I want to be angularity and I'm going to type in A and E as my datum. can see it. And these are the choices. You can toggle, you can add a leader, you can add an arrowhead, you can do a variety of things. You click on the very end of it, right mouse button, and then arrow style, you can change on and change all the, the style, whatever you want it to be, a little box. If you want it to be an arrow, triangle, like so. All right, I'm going to zoom it all. And I think I pretty much have the drawing complete. I'm going to go back over to my text portion here and see if there's anything else I want to cover. We're going to do another short lesson uh, lecture after this part three and what we want to do with that one is just set up a detailed drawing format that we can use over and over again but um, it looks as though we've covered most of everything here changing our text changing our reference there's a lot of choices the more you do your detailing the you'll see that there's a tremendous amount of choices and options that you can have for a drawing. The only thing that I ever found that was missing, ah, here we go, we need to put another sheet in. The only thing that I ever found was missing was the fact that there was uh, so many things, you assume something's missing, and then you find out later there's two or three other ways of doing it. And so never think that they're missing a capability or a choice for the draw mode. So I'm going to go back into my layout. I'm going to click on new sheet. And on the bottom here it says sheet 2. And it says sheet 2 here of 2. And I'm going to right mouse, right mouse button and I'm going to put a general view in there. And I think I will double the scale of it. Hit enter. Apply. I'm going to go to sections and 2D sections plus, and it's going to say I can't do it, but I'm going to select on this anyway. All it does is say, not that you really can't do it, but that it is not normal to your view. That's all. And so here's my we're going to go to display and we're going to go to our no hidden lines and the edges I think I'll put no tangencies 
and click apply okay and you have your section I'm going to double click on the sectioning for the hatch you could fill it and scale I always hit the wrong one for this and there's my section lastly the sheet is kind of big so right mouse button sheet setup click in here and we'll go to C and adjust where it's going to be and we have our second sheet and again you can toggle back and forth in the lower left hand corner all this information should be given to you on the bottom you have the scale you have the part name drawing name sheet size and sheet one of two so it gives you the information of what you're viewing so the last part we will cover how to do a detail drawing format and save and reuse it